GPUs seem to be coming back in stock. But what exactly are these GPUs and what are you planning to use them for? If you're planning to mine with them, you need to be really extra careful to make sure that they are not the light hash rate version. Today on That Techo Guy, I'll be exploring GPUs that have returned and come back into stock together with new GPUs that are now also in stock and I'll be explaining some differences and what to look out for if you are planning to purchase one of these GPUs. Stay tuned. Okay, so all of a sudden GPUs seem to have started coming back into stock. But today I'm going to be showing you what to look out for, especially if you're a miner, if you want to purchase one of these GPUs. So it's going to be very important to look out for certain details. So if I go to a local store here, so this is Scan, Scan Computers, and here they have a wide variety of cards that are coming back into stock this week or are already in stock. For example, there are the RTX 2060s, which I know are previous generation cards, but are also coming back into stock this week, and they're going to start costing around 500 euros, which is still above the MSRP. Now, on a whole, the prices here for all of the cards that are going to come back into stock are around double the MSRP price. So it's still quite expensive to purchase one of these cards. But if you are a gamer, obviously you might want to get your hands on one of these cards because they have been out of stock so much because of mining and because of other global shortages as well. Now, if you're going to go for something like the newest cards that just came out recently, like the RTX 3070 Ti, or for example, the RTX 3080 Ti, which are currently in stock here, you can see the, the prices here for the 3080 Ti 1,700 euros, that is quite expensive. If you're going to try and mine on these cards, they are going to be hash rate limited out of the box. So there is so far up until the day of this video, no solution to get past the limiter for Ethereum mining. Having said that, you can still mine on other algorithms, such as Ergo, for example, and Conflux, and the Octopus algorithm, and Ravencoin, and those type of algorithms. They're not going to be hash rate limited on these cards. However, where you need to be careful is this. When you're going to purchase a card with the same name as before, and I did do a video on this around a month ago. For example, if you're going to purchase the RTX 3070, you're going to expect that that's not going to be hash rate limited. So here, for example, there is this 3070. I'm going to click on this card. It is currently on pre-order and that's going to come in stock on Friday the 16th of July. There is a limit of one per customer in this particular store. Here it's not saying anything about LHR. It's not saying anything that it's going to be hash rate limited, not even in the description. SKU does not make sense here. This is just an SKU of the shop itself. What you can try and do is look up the manufacturer code, but that's not going to give you an indication really of if it's going to be hash rate limited or not. What there is, is for example, this is the RTX 3070. So if I try and grab this code here and just Google it and search for it and go to the official Gigabyte website, here you're going to find that there are two revisions for this card. It automatically came up for this code here that there was on the shop site, revision one. Now revision one was obviously the original version that came out. Here there is nothing which indicates that this is going to be a low hash rate version. So you have to be mindful and careful when you're going to buy this card. If you go to specification, there is nothing listed here that can indicate that it is a low hash rate version either. There is not even the GPU version to indicate this. So I think that the best way that you can do this is to actually ask the shop if they know if it's hash rate limited, check the box physically to check if there's written LHR on the box. For example, for revision two, I would expect, and the revision two does have the same code as the other one. It's got exactly the same code. So revision two, I would expect that this would be hash rate limited. Now on certain cards and in certain shops, when they put these online, sometimes they do actually specify. Not long ago, I went to buy a 3060 Ti. There was nothing specified, but when I went into the shop, I checked the box 
and there was written LHR on it, so I didn't purchase the card because I wanted to purchase it for mining Ethereum specifically. Now, it's not to say that the LHR cards will not mine at full hash rates on other algorithms, but if you're trying to get the most profit and bang for your buck at the moment while mining and to try to get your return on investment faster, ETH hash is still currently the most profitable algorithm and on the ETH algorithm, the light hash rate cards will be hash rate limited. So you're not going to be getting the full potential out of them. Here, for example, they have the 3080 Extreme. This is costing quite a bit of money as well. Between the TI and the Extreme, there's around 150 euros according to the shop. When I've checked on Amazon and eBay, these prices are more expensive. I'm just showing you a local store here who might actually also ship to your country of destination. This is Scan Computers in Malta. So is it worth the extra 150 euros? You're gonna gain a little bit of frame rates if you're gaming on these, but I don't think it's going to be worth the extra 150 euros. Back to mining, when you're looking for cards for mining, what you can look out for, like I said earlier, is the LHR tag. There are some of them that actually specify this, like this 3060Ti here that actually is specifying, listen, this is an LHR card. So anyone that wants to mine, you've been warned. Now, if you want to game on this card, it's just going to work the same anyway. There isn't going to be any performance issues. Frame rates will be the same as if it was not an LHR card. However, it is still early days as well because these cards are now still being released. They're just coming out in new batches now as well. So on newer titles and newer games, it might be a different story when you come to compare an LHR card with a card that is not LHR. Now, this again is quite expensive. 3060 Ti for 800 euros when this card's MSRP was around 400 euros. Now, if we go back, besides the LHR, if it's not written as LHR, as I just explained, look out also for V2, sometimes they write it like this, or Rev2. Those are also going to be hash rate limited cards. So it's not just going to be LHR, sometimes it's going to be Rev2, sometimes it's going to be V2, sometimes they don't specify anything at all, and in that case, it's best to check with the shop or check the box physically to see if anything is written on the box. This is going to be a bit of a gamble for miners. You might actually get a card that doesn't indicate anywhere that it is hash rate limited. Try to check the SKU of the card itself. I had a video detailing what SKUs you should look out for and which GPU versions you should look out for if you really want to get the best out of the card for mining. However, as I said, on other algorithms, which are not ET hash and memory intensive algorithms, the card should mine at full hash rate just fine. So guys, I just wanted to give you a heads up about this. Do be careful what you are purchasing because the prices are still quite high. If you are going to buy this card for gaming and even for mining, I personally would wait a bit more since now there are quite a few cards that are coming back into stock. So potentially the prices could start dropping over the next few months as well, especially with EIP 1559 for Ethereum around the corner and less profitability for mining miners on the ET hash algorithm. So if you can stick it out a month or two more, hopefully these prices will start dropping as well. And we might even see the next lineup from Nvidia for maybe the RTX 4000 series. So guys, I hope that you found this video useful. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below. All of your opinions will help the entire community and myself as well to learn and to grow together. And I really thank you all for taking the time in watching my videos. I know some of them can be quite long, but I'm trying to do my best to explain everything in as much detail as possible. And I'm trying not to miss any of the important details. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below. Hit the like and hit that notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. Until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.